I think I have to be next to him to push him, don't I? You can't just push him off at the beginning. Wait, what? No, no, I can't do that. I can't just push him off. That would have been hilarious. I was trying to do this before reading the tutorial. No, 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 I've, I've read the tutorial. The tutorial says that we have to, the whole, the whole point of this tutorial is picking who goes first. So in this case, they say, the first move we have to do is to move him back. So, we can, maybe we can do a summon first, but he's gonna be asleep, which is what I did last time. Move the dog down first. If I move the dog down first, then, wait, can I push from up here? No, I can't. If I move the dog down first, I can't move him on top of the snail. If I move him here, then the next turn, the snail just walks forward and kills him. That's the whole point of the, you have to move your guy first. It says in bold. Right here, it says. It says the snail eats everybody. And then right here in bold, after, um, switch between your attributes, press these on keys. If you're playing with mouth, you may also switch, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, obviously it starts on this. So the whole point of the tutorial is to click on him. <clears throat> we have to move him back. And now this guy's gonna move up. Cause we can click on him and see where he can move. We can in a second. Like this. Move forward, I moving forward, I don't think would work. Although, if actually if we moved him forward and the dog to here, no, he could just move. Oh wait, maybe maybe that maybe that is it. Hold on. What can I can I redo the tutorial? Let's see. That that may be it. That may be what we need to do. Ah. I think you actually. I think that may have just gotten it. Because the snail can't move through that. Yes, he can just push him through. But if we do, this game is like more like a puzzle game than anything else, which is kind of fun. So if we take this guy, I was moving him out thinking we could get out of his range. But if we put him here, and then like Chad suggested, oh, no, we, we can't do that. Because the snail always goes second. Move forward, then summon for that. God, Chad, you, you did it. You did it. Revenge! 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 Did we do this one yet? No, no, we didn't do this one yet. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 
Boom. Oh, God. What is this? A donkey bard. Can only attack adjacent fields. Attacks can push enemies. Able to wake up friendly beasts, taking a nap, and grant motivation. Capable of forcing all surrounding enemies to take a nap. Did we mention this beast plays the butt trumpet? Cunning. Okay. Hey, no, what's this? Oh, okay. Oh, they can eat those? Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Um... Well, <laughs> now it can one shot me with more accuracy. That's right. some accurate helping. Okay, so how can we address two instant kill snails at the very beginning? Um, push the cart. I would just push it to the other side of him. This guy doesn't come in awake, does he? No. Donkey Bard wakes up other beasts with epic music. Playing the trumpet with your butt will cause all enemies in range to become paralyzed. I love it. Um, so I feel like we have to do a summon and just have it get eaten at the very beginning for this guy. Then he's going to eat that. That's right. Well said. Pushed enemies keep moving to an empty space. Okay. Wait, you don't mean like they keep moving to an empty space? Yeah. Oh, so I could do him. That's not gonna save me from him, unfortunately. Um. 
Oh. <laughs> Snails of all things. Okay. Let's see, let's see. I can summon two things. Oh, but I can only summon one per turn. Okay. Not enough space to draw a beast. snails get to go first? Yeah. Okay. So we're not, neither, if we summon two things in the first round, none of them are going to be able to act before the snails go. This game's tripping me out. Yeah. No, the snails, I don't think the snails eat each other. Summon one to the left of the left snail. But you know what we could do? Check this out. I have made a huge mistake. Okay. Um. It was almost good. If I push this guy, let's try this. I push him. Does he get to go next? He does. Damn. Do I know who goes next? Is it up here? Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, 
I go, or did he go? Oh, I can just move out! Ah! <laughs> Almost good. Move to the left? Oh, he just would've got me to the left. Dude, this is fun. This is actually like really fun. Okay, so we're gonna do, I think this was a good start. I'm gonna try this this time though. Why is he drawing with an oven, oven mitt? Uh, it's like he's a he's a knight. This is gonna work. I'm just messing around. Okay, they're all gonna wake up. One of them can go, and then my guy can go. Oh. I can't hit him. If I had summoned him down there and had him there, I think I could have pushed him over. Which is interesting. Okay, cool. Applause, please. You've come this far and earn yourself the status of an intermediate Inculinati. If you have journey, if you haven't tried journey mode yet, this is the perfect time to write your own stories and aspiring Inculinati legend. Okay, let me go back. Receive two boredom points for one drawn beast. A beast boredom level will decrease by one if they won't be drawn during battle. What is all this? Um. Fights may prove difficult even for experienced masters. Oh my. Let's try it, let's try hard. Whoa. Four to six, three, eleven. Five to seven, two, twelve. They're different. Rabbits and dogs are different. Hand actions. Ten. 
Talon. And actions used on friendly beasts increase their halo level by one. It's four drops of living ink if a hand action kills a beast. Oh man, I don't, I don't know. Let's do that one. Oh god, what was that? Oh my lord, what is going on right now? Uh, let's, hold on. Character screen. Ooh, okay, okay. Cool. Uh, by the way, big shout out and thanks to the devs for sponsoring this stream. Uh, this is Inkulinati. You can find it on Steam right now. There is a link in the Inkulinati command and also in my profile. So if you're enjoying this game and want to check out more, get more information, you know where to do it. And we uh, appreciate the devs for Checking that out and sponsoring the stream. Today we'll pass your final exam, become an Inkulnati master, and set off on your ink journey to face a wild beast encounter before you can take the exam. Okay. Whoa. All right, do it. Oh my God, what is this? Are those? You encounter various beasts, battlefield elements, and random events. If you spot a beast or an element you haven't seen before, use hints and instructions to learn more. Explosion. All right. This was a terrible idea. I like it. Putting <laughs> ink in the wild encounters is important. For every 12 drops of living ink drained, you'll receive a special bonus. All your beasts will regain some health and obtain positive status effects. Should have summoned Spear Bros, I think. Uh-oh. It's gonna leave a mark. This is gonna explode and hit everyone? Nice blue hand. Was five damage to units positioned near the exploding element. Okay. No. <laughs> Mr. Shield, I like it. Still alive. Nice. Seek fluid intake. I will. How? <clears throat> One second. Does five to seven. What is this? Let's do this one. Boom. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Boredom status. What is boredom? Bored, bored, bored. 
Does not protect their backs. Oh, interesting. Ooh. Cool. Your health regenerates a little after every battle, and by how many points, you may ask? Like I said from the beginning, that depends on your difficulty. What if I lose all my health? Ah, quills are like retries. Cool and I get tired of drawing beasts. Every time they draw a beast, their boredom level goes up. The higher the boredom, the more ink it costs to draw a beast. Oh. They're never bored. Bad answer. The higher the boredom, the more ink costs to draw a beast. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Decrease boredom, draw different beasts in your next battle. Fight a beast first beast battle or visit the chapel. Sometimes your beast will need to move up or down a level on the battlefield. Non-flying beasts can use ladders to go up or down a level. Flying beasts don't need to. You can sometimes use beast actions and even attack enemies on different levels. Steer your eyes around. Some call it a camera, but we haven't created one yet in the medieval times. In order to examine, push the manuscript, or study the battlefield by reducing the size of it. Okay. All right. Get that archer's toast. <laughs> 